Hi, I'm Charlie White and today I'm going to show you how to scribe a piece of wood into an uneven surface. In this case I'm scribing an architrave into an uneven wall. The problem I've got here is the wall is uneven. You see here there's a much bigger gap at the top of the door jamb than there is at the bottom. So my architrave has somehow got to follow the contours of that wall. I'm going to show you a really easy way to do this. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get the architrave completely plumb or completely vertical. So the way I'm going to do this is set the architrave against the wall at the point where it actually touches the wall on the uneven surface. For me it's at the bottom of the wall, it could be at the top of you, for you, it doesn't really matter. Then using a spirit level, bring the, bring the bit of wood of the architrave away from the wall until it's completely plumb, completely vertical. When you're happy you've done that, get a screw or some other fixing and screw the architrave to the frame at that point. You'll see you've got a nice big gap at the top of the wall where it's most uneven going right down to the bottom where there's no gap at all. That's absolutely fine, that's the way it's meant to be. Now, this is the reasonably tricky bit. You've got to work out how much to take off the back of your bit of wood or architrave. For me, I need to bring this architrave back towards the wall so that it matches the one on the other side where I've got the architrave set back in five millimeters from the door frame. So looking at from the back of the door frame where my architrave is parallel all the way down, that's why we're trying to get it completely vertical. It projects out 17 millimetres from the frame itself. Adding to that 17 millimetres I need another five, so that's, so that's 22 millimetres I need to cut off my architrave when I scribe it. So to make my little scribing tool, what I'm going to do is take a piece of scrap wood here and then I'm going to make a line, as you see I've done here, 22 millimetres in from the edge. Now I'm going to cut that off. There are various scribing tools that you can get. Um, a curtain fitter that I work with has a sort of adapted compass with two pencils on, on the end. But this is um, a really good DIY way to do this at home. There we go, 22 millimetres wide. Right, now comes the easy bit, which bizarrely is the actual scribing itself. I'm gonna place my, I'm gonna place my piece of wood against the architrave, tight up against the wall, so that the 22 millimetres is coming out from the wall. And then I'm literally gonna put my pencil against the piece of wood, and then just run the piece of wood down the wall making a pencil mark as I go. Now what this does is it projects the exact contours of the wall onto your piece of wood. So I'm going down the wall following the pencil along the front of the bit of wood. Now we've done that, we can take the architrave off the frame and we need to cut along that line all the way down, which I'm going to use a jigsaw for just because it's the easiest way to do it. Without any sanding or further tidying up, the architrave 
follows the contours of the uneven surface of the wall beautifully. And that's all ready to be fitted now. Now, a door architrave such as this is just one example of scribing in practice. There's so many other situations where you'll find it useful. Whether it's scribing a cupboard into an uneven ceiling like I had to do here in our bathroom, or scribing a bookcase into a completely uneven wall like I had to do here, through to perhaps the most bonkers one of all, which is scribing these storage shelves in the playroom into this completely uneven wall. So, really hope you found this video useful. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the link here.